Hey, what's up YouTube? Dwally19 here. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on the window tint. So I figured I'd just make a video uh, talking about that um, as that stupid garbage truck goes by. So in Colorado, the legal window tint, the d darkest you can go on all side and rear, is 27%. Okay, so keep that in mind as I'm talking. Um, I just wanted to go around it really quick. It's been raining and it's really cloudy today. Um, so I just wanted to go around the tent. It looks super dark, but I can see into the car from here. Um, but anyway, so keep in mind about the tent being darkest you can go in Colorado is 27%. That's right here. I think that's right. Ugh. All right. So the darkest you can go in Colorado is 27%. I have not had only 27% on my vehicles. I'll start out by saying that. Um, so on the rear passenger sides in the your rear window you can go as dark as you want. So you can go like limo tint if you wanted but then these front two have to be either clear or 27%. I can't remember but I didn't I didn't like I don't like the look of only going with the rear windows blacked out. I, I don't, I think it looks lame like that. But I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make sure they're all the same tint all the way around. Um, so on my first car that I got tinted was a uh, Toyota Matrix and I went with 27% on all four sides. Um, then I moved up to an SI and that already had its windows tinted and I'm pretty sure it was that as well. Then for a brief period, and I'll have to do a whole other explanation for this one, um, I had a 14 WRX hatch for about a month and it was right before the 15s launched and I got a 15 eventually, but I had the 14 and I was like, you know what? I want it to be dark on the windows. I want that super dark black tint and to match with the darker wheels. And they weren't even that dark on the 14 WRXs, but I was like, I want it to be darker than 27%. So I got 15% uh, light, um, whatever percentage that's called. And I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, 15% was sketch. Um, it was awesome during the day like yeah during the day. It's perfect. You, you don't notice anything and like even with this tint as you can see like I, I have perfect visibility during the day and it was awesome during the day with the 15% But at night It was Sketch I even remember specifically multiple times me driving at night being like, uh this is sketchy and I don't know if I can see everything on my sides and I didn't feel safe. So 15% I think is too dark at, at night. Like there were times where I'd put down my window because I had to like maneuver to look. So I don't recommend the 15%. On my 15 WRX, I was like, ooh, I'm not doing 15 again. That was definitely sketch. Uh, let's do 20% or no the guy was like oh well you know we he offered me 15 and then there's 27 he's like we do have a 20% and I was like well yeah let's let's do that and 20% um, is where it's at 20% is perfect it's it's darker than the 20% it looks like from the outside but you can still if you walk up to the car you can see into it um, and at night, I don't feel like there was, I never had an issue being like, oh, can I see? Or, um, I never had to like roll down my windows to check the, to just to see if I was missing anything. Um, so I definitely, if you can go 
20%, if your state allows it, which I'm probably, I don't even think many would, but if you're close to that, or if you want to roll the dice, um, I definitely recommend 20% hands down. Um, that was the best tint I had. Um, so for this car, the darkest you can go is 27%. And because this video is published, um, I just want you to know that yes, I followed the rules and went with 27% on this car as well. So I didn't want to break any rules. So yeah, I love 20%, but since it's illegal, I had to go with 27%. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I've got pretty good visibility in my car. I don't feel like there's ever an issue. Um, one thing I did notice, and I forgot to mention in the uh, interior updates video, is that on this car, and I don't know if it's because I have the home link in this, or maybe they updated it, but there's definitely more uh, uh, tint up here on top. I, my 15 WRX did not have that. It's there's there's way more tint. You can see the bluish tint up top for the visors, but there's also a lot more up here in the center, um, which I didn't talk about. So, anyways, that's uh, that's my thoughts on uh, window tint. Like I said, I 15% or lower. I think it's sketch at night. Yeah, it looks great during the day, but you better roll down your. But if you can drive somewhere where you can have your windows down at night, then go for it. But I, I think 15% is way too dark. 20% um, perfect. Love it. If you can do that, get that. And uh, if you're in Colorado, 27% was also realistically it really was. It's it's awesome. If you if you go 27% all the way around, it, it looks great. So. Um, there's a creepy guy to my right and a white pickup just staring at me right now. So yeah, so I definitely recommend 20, 27%. Um, if your state's like 30, 35, 33, I'd go 27. If you're anywhere near me, go 20 um, if you want to roll the dice. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share thoughts on window tint and uh, I'll have more videos to come, guys. Later.